everyone. Good afternoon, good evening, and from where I am right now, good morning. I am Jasper Jed Greco. I am a premier field engineer from Microsoft Services team, and I'm also a Microsoft Education Ambassador. Like most of us, I am still trying to figure out, you know, how to live with what they call as the new normal. So here I am, wide awake at 12 midnight. But don't worry, I try to keep myself to have a work-life balance. In fact, here's some confession. I was actually playing a game before I recorded this. But before, even before I started recording, I saw something on Facebook, which I think you'll be interested because you're all teachers. I'm going to share this with you, but I wouldn't be taking all of the credits. I saw a post from Facebook, uh, Facebook rather. Um, it's, it is from a friend, um, also a classmate from Atenea de Manila University. His name is um, Sir Jason Arias. And what Sir Jason Arias posted on Facebook is that he showed how to set up a simple multi-camera setup to provide a immersive, an immersive um, um, online um, class experience, which I think is really good. It is really good. However, um, the setup that he showed on Facebook is, you know, uh, requires um, certain uh, resources like a camera and a third party um, software. That is why on this video, I'm going to be sharing with you um, how to set up how to set up a simple multi-camera um, setup um, for your um, online classrooms um, using with what you have, especially if you are on Office 365 and you have Microsoft Teams. So let's start. For this simple setup, you only need a few things. First, a smartphone. Second, a Windows PC. Both of them should have Microsoft Teams. Oh, you might also need a tripod, but of course, we are Filipinos. Let your creativity sparse it. You can use a, you can use a book, a stack of book, a cabinet, or whatever. But this is my setup. So this is my phone. It's on a tripod. Disregard those items there. Those are necessary for our demo later. And except for the Cheetos, somebody had a midnight snack. For this demo, I'll be playing as a biology teacher or even a grade school teacher who's planning to educate his students on how a simple hand washing can help them prevent the spread of coronavirus. Now, normally, as a teacher who would want to initiate an online class, I would send in calendar invites so that my students can join a meeting. Now, for this demo, I already did that, so all I have to do is to join the said online class. Now, uh, when I do that, um, I should be able to um, turn on my camera. I can also blur out my background, as you would notice right now, and then turn on my microphone. So I'll click on Join now. And once I'm connected to our online class, I could actually proceed on with my discussion. Now, I could click on Share here so that I will be able to share my PowerPoint presentation to my students. Now you can see on your screen right now my PowerPoint presentation because I am using a secondary screen, but I can click here so that you'll be able to see my um, presenter view. Now this is my first slide. Obviously this is the title um, slide for my presentation and this is the second slide. Now on the second slide is where I could actually present to my class what is um, a coronavirus? I could probably explain here that a coronavirus is surrounded and uh, protected uh, by a layer of fats and uh, protein materials. And the reason why um, a soap is useful or very effective in, um, in uh, destroying coronavirus is because soap contains a dual-sided uh, molecule wherein the first side attracts water and the other side attracts fat. And uh, this interaction between the soap and the coronavirus and their molecule creates surface tension that eventually destroys the virus. Now, I could go on and talk and talk to my students and present them this discussion, but it would be better if I will be able for uh, I will be able to show them, you know, a fun and an immersive way of representing this scenario so i could also provide them a teachable moment for them to wash their hands 
I can do this by um, simply setting up a multiple camera and I was able to do it uh, by um, using an application in my Windows 10 um, which is called as your phone. So your phone is actually um, included in Windows 10 if you've updated it. Um, all you need to do is to um, enable it on your um, PC and on your phone. You'll have to have your Microsoft account and uh, you should be um, you should be um, connected in one uh, network, meaning you are connected in one um, Wi-Fi. So um, in order for me to um, to open your phone is I'm just going to type here your phone and I should be able to see the application. So what your phone um, does is that again it connects your um, phone to your PC. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually um, connecting to my phone. It should take a little uh, second or a little minute. So you have to check your phone as well if you are connected. Okay, so as you would notice right now, I can now see my phone. So aside from seeing my phone screen, I could actually control this one. I could actually swipe left and right and so on. I can also see my notifications here. I can also see my messages here, which I will not be doing, of course. And I can also see my photo gallery of my phone and then copy paste it on my um, um, Windows PC. But right now, um, in order for us to use my, f uh, um, my phone as my secondary screen for my online class is I could actually click on camera and they should be able to see my experiment uh, set up. So um, in order for my students to see this in my, um, in my Teams um, online class, all I have to do is go back to my Teams, uh, Microsoft Teams, and then I could actually click on stop sharing to stop sharing my PowerPoint presentation and then click on share. And then this time I'm gonna share this your phone application to their screen. So this is what your student will be, um, will see on their end. But that's only the first way. Um, there's a second way um, for you to use your phone as a secondary camera on your online class. You can actually directly use your phone to join the online meeting via Microsoft Teams. You've heard it right. Uh, Microsoft Teams, uh, using Microsoft Teams, um, you can actually join an online meeting on multiple devices simultaneously. So right now, this is my Microsoft Teams. Uh, I'm gonna join the meeting that I have right now, okay? Um, unfortunately, oh, not yet. Um, once I've joined the meeting, um, you could actually click on, here's another good tip, you can actually click on the ellipsis okay and then you can actually click on share and then click on your share screen you've heard it right you can actually um, uh, use your phone and then share your cell phone's screen to everyone on your class it will give you um, some warning that you might be able to show some sensitive information because it's your phone after all it's a personal device so you click on start now and unfortunately this is what I've was supposed to tell earlier but uh, unfortunately once you've shared your um, cell phone screen um, it will no longer be um, um, screencasted or will no longer be shown on your phone app but what will happen is that if you go back to Microsoft Teams okay um, you should be able to see the presentation or, or, or the screen of um, the cell phone that we are using. So I'm gonna click on share again and then I click on share screen and click on start now. And then um, you should be able to see my phone right now. So this is my phone. I'm gonna click on the home screen and then I'm gonna click on camera. And as you would notice, I am now using my camera or, or my cell phone rather for my secondary camera and hands free, I, I am able to freely move to proceed on my um, experiment. And speaking of my experiment, so this is how we're gonna do it. So I, my students can still see me, and, but uh, um, they can also see my experiment. So I could explain um, what will happen in my experiment. So this is, for example, um, a coronavirus. So this is um, black pepper. This um, um, item can be, um, 
can uh, represent your coronavirus. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to spread uh, or sprinkle generous amount of um, pepper in our water. I know we might be wasting um, um, some peppers here, but trust me, this is a teachable moment for your students. And then I'll be using a soap. So this is how we're going to teach our students to wash their hands. So this is a soap. And I want you to look at your screen right now. And this is how a, a, a soap would interact to the pepper. So I'm going to touch the middle of it. And as you would see, it will disrupt the pepper. So uh, this is actually a, a representation on how uh, soap would uh, disrupt uh, the pepper and how soap would, you know, destroy coronavirus. Okay. Of course, aside from the scenario that I've shared with you, you can also use this in different cases. Like, for example, if you are a teacher who is handling a different class, like, for example, if you're a computer teacher and then you're discussing different types of um, computer hardware, computer peripherals, you can actually show it on your camera. Um, if you are an electrical engineering um, professor, you could probably show some breadboards, circuit boards, and etc. And um, even accounting students, like, for example, uh, if, I mean, rather, um, even if you're an accounting professor and if you want to show some computations to your um, to your students, you can just pull out a paper, show them the calculator and so on and do the actual computations by yourself and then show it to them so that you can provide an immersive um, learning experience to your student. That's it for my tip. Thank you very much and keep safe everyone. Bye-bye.